What's up guys this is Hardik here and today we'll be taking a look at a new rom for our Nexus 5X which is based on Android version 7.1.1 and it is the Google Pixel rom itself so it is like a complete stock version of Pixel ported for our Nexus 5X so today I'll be showing you the review after using it for 4 days and so and also I'll be showing you guys in the end how to flash it on your 5X as well so without any further ado let's begin so as I said this rom is based on android version 7.1.1 and the model number is pixel so the build prop is edited as well so if i just go back real quick as you can see the model number is pixel and one good thing in this rom is you get the google pixel rom ote updates in the rom itself so you can like check for updates and if there is an update available you could update it from the settings itself just like the stock factory rom we get on our nexus devices so there'll be Two files to be downloaded in the description below. Uh, one will be the ROM itself, and the second will be the OTA update. So just download those two, just flash the ROM, and then flash the OTA update by which you'll get the OTA updates on the ROM itself, and then you're good to go. So as you can see, this here is the ROM itself, and it's, it's pretty pretty smooth as you can see here. So we'll just jump into the settings real quick, and I'll be showing you guys what all features we have in this ROM. So basically uh, in more we have the NFC and airplane mode and stuff like that if we go down we have display and in display we have the night light mode as well so if I just turn it on let's see if I just turn it on there you can see night light mode is now enabled you can even turn it on automatically or custom schedule or sunrise to sunset you could set it up for yourself then we have ambient display as well we also have adaptive brightness then if you go down we also have the display size so where you can change the display size now here it's on default but it depends on the personal preference basically then going down in, into notifications and if i just hit on the settings over here uh, here you can enable the pulse notification light for our nexus 5x which is down over here then going back again going into sounds all the sounds which are here are ported from the pixel itself so uh, let's see if I just do this there you can see this ringtone is from the pixel itself uh, if you go down here you can also vibrate for calls all basic stuff vibrate on tab and stuff like that then going back again we have storage we have battery the battery life on this ROM was like not actually that good uh, if I just go into my battery it's currently at 55% my Bluetooth was on the entire day it was connected to my Moto 360 uh, 55% and we have a screen on time of 1 hour 38 minute so it's actually not that good but considering this being an Nexus 5X and the battery is already small these results are like not that bad as well then going down we have memory here so as you can see it gives us a glance of the ram used the free ram and the performance as well then going back again we have moves so in this uh, we also have the swipe for notifications but let's see if it works or not so if i just do this as you can see it doesn't work i'm doing it but it is not working this feature was also available in the nexus 6p using the megapixel rom that didn't work on the 6p as well so yeah this was like really expected in this rom then going down we have security accounts google language and input all the basic things that we have on your pixel or your nexus device and also if you just go into about phone you just uh, enable the developer options uh, there we go into the developer options and if i just scroll down here uh, there you can see just enable the usb debugging and go down and here we have the uh, dpi the custom dpi thing so we could like set it to our needs then going back again into the system again it is based on android version 7.1.1 and the security patch level is december 5 so about the performance of this rom it has been pretty smooth as for now as you can see there are tons of apps running in the background uh, it lags those starters a few times but not more than that also after flashing this rom i have got two ot updates already so that improves the overall performance as well uh, but yeah other than that everything works fine the the 3d touch like thing works as you can see here so there we go then the camera works fine as well as you can see here uh, if you just snap a pic real quick 
there we go uh, although this camera is not the nx camera which is the zero shutter lag one but this camera works fine as well there you go uh, even the front facing camera works pretty pretty good in this rom we also have the google assistant so we'll just try it for now and there we go what's the weather like So there you can see the assistant works as well. Also in this room we have the pixel nav bars right over here. So even we have the pixel animation here. The Wi-Fi in this room works fine as well. No issues with that. Also no issues regarding the Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, the only thing I've read in the change log of this room is that the Daydream doesn't support for some reason. Uh, but I don't have a headset for now. But you could try it for yourself if you have a daydream headset so there you can see you'll need a daydream ready headset to experience vr uh, i don't have a headset but i do have a vr set which is like a google cardboard thing i'll try in that but yeah if, if you want to try it you can try it for yourself in this rom one good thing about flashing this rom is that the snapchat in this rom like really really blows my mind it does not lag at all so if i just open my snapchat real quick let's see there we go it's open and as you can see we have all the there you go as you can see it's, it's like really really smooth so that's pretty cool isn't it so snapchat works pretty good so snapchat has been improving a lot but this rom makes it even more better so yeah other than that everything works pretty good as well the google now page works fine as well the multitasking works even the split screen multitasking works so let's see if we have clock if we drag clock over here and then we have let's say twitter there we go it works fine here so we could like resize or drag it completely so it works fine as well so yeah for now that's been it guys thank you for this video also i am like really really close on getting 3000 subscribers so <laughs> do help me hit 3000 before the end of this year i'd really appreciate that but yeah for now that's been it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed also i'll be making more rom videos on the nexus 5x itself so if you are a 5x user do subscribe as well so yeah that's been it guys thank you for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in my next one